The M4 Mac Mini is an amazing computer, but depending on the model you get, you may find yourself needing extra storage space. And that's where Satechi came in clutch with their new slim SSD enclosure. This is really cool because it's designed to look great with the Mac Mini, but all it is is just a USB 4 super fast enclosure that you put any NVMe of your choosing in on the top of it. it does include a thermal pad, so you stick the thermal pad down, insert the SSD at an angle, and then you just screw this screw on, and then all you gotta do is snap the cover back in place. It also comes with this super short USB 4 cable that's designed to fit perfectly. I found it fits best if you use it on the middle port. And then you just have to plug this SSD enclosure in, and now you got tons of storage space. This enclosure supports NVMEs all the way up to eight terabytes, and you do have to provide your own NVMe for this. I do wanna say thank you to Satechi for sending me this to review. This is gonna be based on my thoughts of this enclosure, who I think it's for, and who should maybe steer for a different option instead. So what I love about Satechi products is they design them to look just like something Apple would make. So whenever you have this set up on the Mac Mini, it's super minimal and low profile. It does need to go on top, and the cable they gave with it, in my opinion, is a little bit short. I think they should have made it a little bit longer so you have more space. This is designed to look great with the M4 Mac Mini, but I've also been testing it with my Mac Studio, and it works great on that as well. I did have to use a different cable with it, though, because this one wasn't long enough for it. The speeds that you get with this are going to depend on the drive that you use it with, as well as the host device that you plug this into. So with my M4 Mac Mini, I was getting speeds of about 3,200 megabytes a second on the read and the write, and with my M4 for Pro Mac Mini, I was getting speeds of about 3,500 megabytes a second on the read and the write. So with those Thunderbolt 5 ports, you are going to get faster speeds than using the Thunderbolt 4 equipped Mac Minis. But either way, this is going to be way faster than your standard SSD like the Samsung T7 or any of those other USB-C type SSDs. It's also going to be faster than the base model Mac Mini's built-in SSD, not quite as fast as the one on the M4 Pro. It doesn't have a super good cooling system though. It does get hot to the touch, and it seems like they've designed it where the thermal pad absorbs the heat and then puts it on the top of the enclosure. So I did find the top of this did get pretty warm to the touch. But the thing that's great about it being on the top is all the heat can just rise out of it. So I've been using this for some all day editing sessions using both the Samsung 990 and the WD Black SN850X. And this performed really well. I didn't have any slowdowns or any issues with it bogging down. And even when I was moving a ton of data across it, it worked just fine. So you get really fast performance and you won't have any issues with bottlenecks whenever you use this SSD. I do have a couple small complaints about this though. The first one is that I think Satechi should have done a toolless design for this. So it's very easy to remove the bottom. You do have to make sure that you line up this little notch on it with a notch on the case. And then that just comes off very easily. You can also always store the USB-C cable in there when you don't want it. But they actually use a little Phillips screwdriver to install this which I find to be a little bit annoying, and I prefer the design that is toolless where you don't have to carry a screwdriver around. My other complaint with this enclosure is it does go for about $120, and all you get is an enclosure, so there's no additional ports on it, which is really great because it looks minimal, it fits on top of the Mac Mini perfectly, and all it has is a little light on the front of it that just barely blinks whenever data is being accessed on it. So you can expect to get really good performance with it. It's really reliable. I just think for $120, it's too bad that there's no more functionality built straight into it because for this, you're really just paying for an oversized SSD enclosure that matches the Mac Mini perfectly. The only other complaint I have is I think they should have included a longer USB cable with this, just so you had a little bit more wiggle room whenever you're going to set this up, and if you want to use it with different devices as well. So Tetchy has two other accessories that are similar to this. They have their other USB 4 Pro SSD enclosure, and this one is a lot bigger. To me, it feels like it does a better job at dispersing the heat because it's got more of an aluminum body, but there will be more heat on the bottom of this. This one also has that toolless design, which I find to be really handy. This one will be a little bit better for travel, just because it's not quite as big as this one. And you can technically just use this the same and put it directly on top of the Mac Mini, and it'll get the same exact thing done. It's just not gonna look as sleek and minimal as this new enclosure they came out with. Another accessory they have is their stand and hub. This does a couple different things like allow you to access the power button on it. It also has the same issue as this new USB 4 enclosure where you do have to put a screw in it with a screwdriver, which again, I think they could have just done it with the toolless design. This one also has a built-in cable, which is nice because you don't have to worry about losing it, but if you ever have any issues with the cable, you're kind of just out of luck. And then on the front of it, it has an SD card slot and then three USB ports as well. So the thing that's nice about this one is you get more ports, but the downside to this one is it tops out at speeds of about 950 megabytes a second on the read and the write. So this one is going to be over three times faster than this stand and hub. And technically, if you want, you could also always pair the two of them. You could use this SSD enclosure to get the top possible speeds, and you could put it on the stand and hub and plug that in and still have one additional Thunderbolt port available on the back for other accessories. And you kind of have maximized this little Mac Mini and giving yourself a lot more storage space and ports on it. So really, you're buying the USB 4 enclosure for two reasons. 
to get very fast SSD speeds with no issues of bottlenecking. And then you're also buying it just to match the Mac mini aesthetic and for it to look really good and minimal. If you're just looking to get this to use with different computers besides the Mac mini, I would recommend buying their USB 4 enclosure instead because I've had really great luck with this and tested a ton of NVMEs in this and it continues to perform really well even a year later. Otherwise, if you really wanna leave this set up on a desk, and if you wanna have that sleek and minimal look, that's where I think this Satechi USB 4 enclosure makes a lot of sense and is a great buy. If you're interested in buying one of these, I do have links to buy in the description below. Also check out links in the description below for some of my other favorite Mac mini accessories as well. Like this video, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming content.